How's everyone doing? Hi, everybody. Back with another live stream in the garden. And we figured we'd just show you uh, actually how we waddle weave since this one. I mean, look at this thing. Take it. <laughs> it's solid as a rock with no nails or screws or anything, just weaving. It is. It's really nice. Yeah. A lot plus, better than the first one. Plus, we like interacting with all of y'all when you're, when you're here with us. Who all is here? <sighs> Who's here? Anybody? I don't know. I don't see anybody yet. Okay. I mean, I see somebody, but I don't see anybody talking about. Right. Well, if you're here, leave a yeah, Go in the live chat. Let us know you're in. Let us know you're here. Sean's just back there sawing away on his water weave. Yeah, I'm using the bigger sticks, and this method is really making it tighter and easier to make it look nice. Yeah. Let's see. Let me switch this around. Do so, have any people in here yet? Two. Two? All right. Sweating it. <laughs> I'm not sweating it. <laughs> He still has to build it whether anybody's watching or not, huh, guys? I know. <laughs> I, know. I keep looking at the wrong camera. We have too many cameras set up around. <laughs> We're working on bed number three, though, officially. And what I really, out of all the times I've waddled weed, which hasn't been many, I kept using four posts to go in between. The three is making it so much better. Yeah. I like it. Wish we had willow trees around here because that would be the best. Anything I can help you with? There aren't any, nobody's commented yet, but there's far five. Oh, cool. Well, welcome everybody who's here. Has anyone ever waddle weed before that's here watching? If so, I'd love some advice for maybe what you've done <laughs> in the past. Maybe you've noticed something worked good for you. It seems kind of like a lost art. You think so? I've seen pictures of it on Google, but other than that, I haven't really seen anybody. I mean, I see it on YouTube and Pinterest. and. Yeah, but I mean, they're just like kind of, I don't know if they're fresh though. Fresh weeds. Yeah. Hi, Shannon. Shannon's here. Hey, Shannon. Shannon. says hi. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Too thin. Well, you put another board in there, huh? What's that? Do you hold, put another stake in there to hold them somewhere? Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of, you got to play around with this and see which one's going to fit properly. As you guys can see, that one's kind of like a little loosey-goosey. Well, it's going to be loose, but I'm going to add another post. And then when I put this top stick on, it, it pulls it in together. So I got a method, honey. Okay. Method to my madness. Can I get you sticks? <laughs> no. Hang on. You get, honey. I don't want you to have to keep getting up and down. <laughs> Your dad said Dan is here. Who? <laughs> Your dad. My dad's here? Yeah, but he said that is he he maybe he meant to say dad is here. But it says Dan is here. Oh, Do you okay. know a Dan? No, that would be my father. We're on number three, slowly getting through them. But with big plans to have a whole bunch of them done this week. We went and collected sticks today to build this entire garden bed, and we got covered in ticks. Oh, my God. I was <laughs> the pulling, ticks are so bad today. I was pulling so many off me every five minutes. Even with tick spray, the good stuff. So then... How are you doing, Richard? Okay. Maybe I can move the camera some. So then. Uh, add another post here. Just so
That's our pile of sticks over there that we collected today. I've got to find the right one. <laughs> How did you know? Just because I know. And then if you can see everyone, so what I've been doing, because as you can see, like she said, some of these sticks are a little loosey goosey. So they're all, I'm, I'm only waddling in between the three. So what that I do at the end is I go back against the other side and create back pressure on it. And now it holds oh, them all. It tightens them all in. Okay. That tightens makes them all in. See, they don't move. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, well, we're going to start planning this week. this week. We already tried to start planning in February inside with the seeds, but too much cold. I didn't have a good turnout with that. It's all right. We're going to start again. <laughs> yeah. Start over. Hi, Audrey. Audrey's hey, Audrey. Here. How you doing? And Sue. Hi, Sue. Where, where are you located, Sue? We're letting him do the labor tonight. Tonight? <laughs> well, it's tonight. It's like <laughs> seven o'clock. Oh. I'm on a quicker than talk. Again, Audrey, thank you for the idea of doing this. It really does. I like it. Yeah, we like having the live stream. Yeah, I like getting in there wrecked with everybody. It's nice being able to not have to watch the video and still, you know, be able to chat and see the video and it coincides. I like that. What do you need? Nothing. Starting a new row, that's all. I'm gonna go get the other camera real quick. Ooh, hmm. Daz. What's up, Daz? <laughs> Hi, Daz. Yeah, that, the, win the never-ending winter is super brutal, but I think we're through it now. I don't think we're going to have any more super cold snaps overnight, so stuff's just getting planted right outside. My peas survived, and my kale survived. That's all. One tomato plant. We're attempting to film this at the same time we're going live. Hmm. I'm finding that I'm getting a lot quicker at it now. Yeah, look how far you are already. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get a whole garden bed done on this tonight, but we might. It's getting good. We waited till the sun went down some because it's been brutal hot the past couple of days. We both got nice sunburns to show for that. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Ah, spider on the camera. Okay. Are ticks bad where everyone else is right now? Are they coming out everywhere else or is it just here? That they're freaking crazy. <laughs> Dad says it's 9 a.m. in his part of the world. <laughs> Dad, you're up early, my friend. <laughs> Is it getting cold there yet, Dad? Oh, Shannon, thank you so much. Thank you, Shannon. Yeah, she hooked us up with a little bit of funds towards the garden. Awesome, because we're going to be getting dirt. <laughs> we're yeah, that's next on the list. We're <laughs> we're going to try and get the truck, couple truckloads of dirt dumped up here on the hill, so it isn't so hard to have to wheelbarrow it all up that hill for all these beds. Plus, I don't think we have enough dirt down there to do. Plus, that. she's not telling you the main thing. The wheelbarrow we had was on loan from a friend of ours, and we 
she graciously let us have it for a while and we gave it back to her so mm -hmm. <laughs> it would be hard getting it up the hill yeah <laughs> yeah now, <laughs> One now that we have no time. barrel ticks are bad in missouri mary yeah they are so bad here today my first step in the woods and the whole back of my leg was covered i had like five immediately on me she she goes into the woods in like shorts and like and the shirt she has on she's like i'm not prepared for work and then we go back and she had muck boots on we come back up to the house for a minute she comes back out with even less clothes on she's got sandals on now i'm like what are you doing i'm like this outfit isn't gonna work but it was because my feet were sweating <laughs> dad says he can't wait till you come build them for him yeah no dad these things I'm, I'm loving them i mean like look at this like it's solid it's good i think it'll work great i'm so proud of how solid it is <laughs> me too sue's in from virginia oh good we got lots of people here like surrounding us oh really yeah we got virginia and missouri Australia doesn't count. Australia is a little far. <laughs> Australia counts in my book. <laughs> All right, let me come over here and just film this angle and people see me looking there. All right. Hold on, everyone. Jess will be right back. Just filming. Just filming. You can't read the comments, Sean, and work at the same time? No, I can't read the comments and work at the same time. Okay. If I could, my cool points would go up. Could Me. Does anybody have any questions about how we waddle weave or anything pertaining to waddle weaving? <laughs> Does anybody want to know anything about the waddle weave process? We're slowly learning it as we go, but we're figuring out some pretty good tactics. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually one of the things I one of the things I did to fix an issue I had of all the weight being pushed on this when I put this top layer on here. Figured it out myself. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have to look it up. Pretty simple. Let's see if there's any questions. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't? I can see yeah. it. Sorry. I was just blocking the microphone and I didn't want your voice to get crowded out. Okay. Yeah, no. It feels so much nicer that the sun's going down. Audrey says that the tighter weave looks really good. Thank you. Yeah, she I agree. Says, she says, do you attach any sticks the other way or just weave it itself? So on the first one, we went, you know, alternating back and forth. In this one, I put them all one way. And then at the top, I put one stick to put back pressure on the opposite side. And it pulls everything in tight. I, I found I haven't had to go, you know, alternating from one side to the other, which made a really loose weave like our first one and where we had to put the uh the garden fabric down to try and help hold the soil in but i think the soil will stay in we're gonna try it we're gonna right? try without it. the soil or we were told the fabric soil we've been told that it would be fine so we're gonna yeah we think it's we think it's gonna be fine yeah a friend of ours has built several mound gardens that don't even have walls on the side like raised beds without walls they're just mounds and he says that it it doesn't erode as much as you think it will so we're going to try it. I mean, it's an experiment. We have 12 beds to play with here. Pink Panther says, show us how it's done. Chemo Sabe. Show you how it's done. <laughs> Hi, Pink Panther. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Uh, I always love when I hear from Pink, too. Where are you from, uh, Pink Panther? By the way, I, I don't know if you ever told us. If you did, I don't remember. Lighting's so good right now. 
I'll show you in one second, Audrey, how I, what I mean about the top one. Every joint where the where they meet where I start a new row has three support pegs going into the ground. One on all sides holding it in. Because that's how true chemo sabe does it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This one shall work. So uh, he's Hermosa Beach, second generation. He's oh, in. nice. Love Hermosa Beach. Make me miss Cali. <laughs> uh, so you see for the on the inside, the weave is on the inside of the bed here. So the, what I do is I start inside and then outside here, then back in. And then it pulls this up tight against this weave here. So I didn't need to go back and forth. I see they won't budge at all. Yeah, it totally tightened it from what it was. Yeah. 100%. Plus, it makes this cool little snake design on yeah. the top that I like. Top. Hi, Jerry. We have a Jerry here. Hello, Jerry. How are you? Oh. Glad to have you here. I'm trying to figure out like how I. And I'm rocking and rolling with this, honey. Best. I know like, you are. <laughs> He's Maybe I need to slow down because then everyone's going to be like, and next week, like, why isn't the whole garden bed built? <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's nice when you have all the sticks that you need right there. The collecting all the sticks today was the hard part. And there were lots of them. We paid with blood, literally. Yeah, can you still <laughs> We didn't play with blood. <laughs> play I, with blood. I didn't say play with blood. Pay with blood. Pay with blood. I'm going to move the camera down just a smidge all. Sorry for anyone who's new coming here on this with the camera moving around. We just want to make sure everyone can see exactly what we're doing. Now the it's nice have different angles. yeah, the waddle ends on the outside on this side. So then what I do is start on the inside of this one, and then out and then back in. Easy peasy. Great <laughs> <Quit> saying that. <laughs> I, I think that's the first time I've ever said it. <laughs> In my life. No, that's probably not true. Ah, uh, yeah. Oops. Somebody doesn't have their phone on time. Okay. So who else has already started plants? Who's already got them in the ground or in their raised garden beds? Yeah, I have to move my bench. <laughs> but I don't want to judge you. <laughs> Let the chickens out. Okay, we'll be here waiting for you. Guys. Is that, guys. <laughs> Time to go let his chickens out. Mary says she's apartment container gardening. She's got plants inside and outside. That's awesome. What's your favorite vegetable to grow? You're doing a fine job there, husband. Thank you. <laughs> we we tried apartment uh, container gardening in California in in glendale it lasted about two weeks because they we had it out on our balcony and apparently you couldn't have anything on your balcony there it was against the rules which is ridiculous yeah <laughs> so and i cooked everything because the sun there is like a thousand times hotter than it is here so i pretty much burnt everything there <laughs> yeah <clears throat> we took some stuff outside but at, I mean, our house was getting so cold inside that it didn't matter if they were inside or outside, they were freezing. Some of them stunted, like they're little, like my onions never grew past like an inch for a, over a month. Cucumbers, I like growing cucumbers. Do you grow them up a vine, Audrey, or do you, do you grow them up a trellis or do you grow them across the ground?
good to have a good landlord, Mary. Yeah. The wad, what does Pink Panther say? The waddle waddle is the mud and straw mixed together and placed onto the wooden slots. The what? The waddle waddle. Is that something different than what we're doing? <laughs> isn't, that what, isn't that what, isn't that what, apparently not a green stick. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you don't use a green, uh, green wood. It just breaks. But isn't that what, uh, uh, Alex from Miss Cobb House did with that the straw and the clay or whatever. Is that what he was doing? That was, I, I don't think it was called Waddle Waddle. Oh, okay. I think it was called something else. Please clarify for us, Pink Panther. <laughs> I prefer to grow them probably up a trellis too. We grew them across the ground last year, but they got so big, like they like turned so big, like fat and yellow. Remember how big our cucumbers got last year? Yeah. <laughs> they didn't even look like cucumbers. This year's going to be the best garden yet for us. I'm confident that we are going to be successful, honey. Yeah. Last year's garden was successful. We just couldn't tend to it as good. Well, because it wasn't on our property, so. Yeah, but even our small one that was on our property, we had trouble with collecting water, enough water at first. Well, that was before we had a rainwater collection, too. Yeah. Yeah, the, all the ones that were yellow were on the ground. I didn't grow anything up trellises last year. The only thing we did was the companion planting with the, the peas up the corn up stalks. Up the corn, and it grew up the corn, and that was pretty cool. Yeah. It was it was green beans, I think. Green beans, yeah. That we grew up the corn stalks. I feel like I should be Huh? I feel like I should be helping you do something, but... I'm kind of rocking and rolling, baby. I see that. I see that. The sun's getting ready to set. Oh. Get a wide shot. I'll be right back. Oh. I need a new saw. Hand saw, babe. <laughs> the butter knife saw something? Nope. <laughs> Tell my dad about it. That did, it did its job for the past <laughs> year. <laughs> Tell my dad you don't like his saw. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Ah, it looks so good. It looks good up against the next one. It looks so uniform. Yeah, right. Up against the other guy. Yeah. In the same hole, huh? I always knew they planted them together. They call it like the what, the three sisters or something. But I didn't know you could put them all in the same hole and then they'll just all grow right up alongside each other. That's pretty neat. We'll probably have to try that experiment. He's Pink Panther says that they used to put the Indians used to put the corn, the squash, and the beans all in the same hole. Really? Yeah. And what is the purpose of that? Well, they grow upside each other, and he says that it's also really good for the nutrients to help with the nutrients. Okay. Hey, I'm willing to try it. I think one more. I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Like, I'm really, like, I should probably have this quick done quicker. <laughs> yeah, but again, the six is like not, it, it's not yeah. big. The waddle is the easier of the two. <laughs> Sourcing the sticks is rough. All right, and then start on this side, back against this. There we 
around there. Earlier when he started this, I was filming him for, put the first couple ones in and he cut it at such a precise exact that every time he tried to shove it down, one side would pop out. <laughs> Took him like three tries. That's a fine work. You guys Thank see you, how nice you. that's coming along? Uh, with nitrogen levels, you know what we learned the other day? Oh, we actually so have two empress trees here. We have more than that, but we have two right here. We have two up here. But these empress trees, we learned that the leaves, you know, because the leaves get like really, really large, that they're actually packed with nitrogen. So whenever they come to fall next year, they're all going in the garden because it's one of it says one of the only trees that the leaves produce nitrogen for soil. Um, what is it? What do you call it? Soil building. That's the word I'm looking for. I don't know. It's something in the leaves. It just has. It's really good for composting the leaves. Yeah, we're really excited because yeah. we got two really big ones. And that boy's in the kite. It's actually got a lot of protein too. It's like twenty percent protein those leaves, so you can actually calcium use them as the a, other one. a live calcium was what it had to calcium and phosphorus, right? So you can actually and it's actually a, feed a, them to livestock. It's actually considered a sacred tree in uh, Japan too. We we were looking up, we saw. That's true. Back in the day, they said you could cut make a lot of money trees down and buy yourself a new car. <laughs> These things are driven in like six inches or eight. They're no, they're about ten inches. About ten, yeah. They're pretty deep. So we cut them what twenty eight inches and we left fourteen sticking out. Yeah. Yeah, so they're like fourteen, ten to fourteen inches deep. And we like to, you know, just kind of like chipped them into little stakes. And they hammered in pretty easily. And yeah, they're sturdy enough. Yeah, they're super sturdy. It's pretty cool to be able to build something without any screws or nails or measuring. <laughs> All the things that make construction projects hard. Okay. Has anybody responded about having any waddling experience? Daz says that the only experience he has is from watching us. Oh. <laughs> That's right. You got the whole side done almost already. Yep. I'm going to try and pick you guys up and take you over there so you can see it a little bit better. But my camera cord ain't that long. So there. You guys can see how it's coming. This looks so good next to the other one. Oh. <laughs> good job. Looks great. Bed number three, guys. Nine and, more after this one. And if anyone is just joining us, we will be planting this planting in these gardens this week. This week. That one over there with the trellis. Getting planted. Getting planted. Jess was kind of paranoid from the last, from losing everything. She was really waiting for the cold to be surely finished. Surely finished. Surely finished. Even though we have lots of seeds, I do not want to waste them. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do. You can see our big pile of sticks back there now. Mary says it's looking good, babe. <laughs> No, she didn't call you babe. I had that part. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I can't 
can't believe how fast you put a wall up. Neither can I. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> totally different when all the sticks are. Well, I got all these eyes on me now. <laughs> okay, so we now see how he works. I'm kidding. <laughs> he works harder when there's eyes on him. Hey, Pink Panther, towards a bottle of fish emulsion fertilizer. Ooh. Bottle feeder for the hose. What's uh, what is that? For fish emulsions, it's, uh, it's a nutrient that you can put in, but it's it's like fish poop, I think. Well, Pink Panther sent us fifty bucks for that. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's super generous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so everyone knows everything that we anyone donates and says something specific, we do put it towards we exactly do. what you donated for. We definitely do. <laughs> I'm so bad at figuring out how to look into the camera because there's too many. Fish emulsion fertilizer and bottle feeder for the hose. Oh, okay, that's one of the things that goes on the end of the hose to spray it. Oh, cool. Actually. You know what that is, right? Yes, I do. That'll be good. Fish emulsion sounds like Fish poop. Serious. Yeah. Sounds serious. <laughs> Does it stink? No, I don't think so. Dude. I've actually never used it, but I've heard of it. Closest I've ever been to fish poops cleaning fish tanks. That you know of. <laughs> Are you sneaking fish poop around? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, I have to switch sides again so everyone can see you and not me. Well, hey, see it? See that? Yeah, it looks great. One whole wall, guys. One whole wall down in thirty-two minutes, chicken. Okay, yeah, then I won't be able to get this all done. <laughs> but no, that was good. I'll be so excited when this is built. So excited. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of cool response from people saying they love it too. So, especially on TikTok, right? TikTok is super yeah. Crazy. TikTok loves the garden bed. Oh, he says the fish emulsions kickstart the microbes in the soil into high gear. Somebody told us in a comment that we should be putting it since we have a stream nearby that we can put um the soil from that's close to the stream or from in the stream to help kickstart some microorganisms as well and he said there would be more worms in it has anybody heard of doing that or have any advice about doing that what did he say take dirt from the stream yeah or at least like buy it maybe i don't know that would probably make it i would imagine that soils it's just with sandy loam. Oh, isn't it black down there? It's like got coal in it. No. No, it's got, um, I mean, it's got the stone. It's just, yeah, it's just sandy loam. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they make me think for a sec. <laughs> Audrey says you're getting really fast, then. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> I'm going to be expecting this kind of speed. Now. I know. What's the problem? <laughs> Expectations have now been raised. <laughs> All right. Uh, set this back wall. All right. Let me switch cameras. Angles for you. So we can so see the back inside. wall. Easier to reach the sticks now. Good. You guys can watch Alan's hut back there. His solar panels that never blow over. <laughs> they never blow over and they're not secured in the least bit. But... Somehow Alan's solar panels never blow away. <laughs> and we've had some doozies of windstorms. Some serious wind gusts here. Oh, look, there's more purple. There's another one of those trees. I see more purple leaves down there. Yeah. Yep, that's an empress tree. They say they're really invasive. Well, they can invade my area anytime because they're pretty. <laughs> yeah, I agree. 
He said co he can't do bad with both of them. He said collect it from the water around the stream. Okay. From the soil around the stream? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got you. But is that kind of acting the same way? Audrey says there's probably some good worms down there that we could leave home. Yeah, that, that's what the comment said, was that it would be a lot a, a lot more worms in there, and that, that obviously good for the garden. Yeah, we didn't see much worms in ours. We've seen lots of millipedes, right? Lots yeah. of millipedes, lots of snails. I'm worried about the snails because we do have a lot of snails, and I know snails will just eat anything. I've seen snails eating paper plates on Facebook the other day. Well, we're going to have a lot of stuff that we got to worry about eating our garden. Rabbits, for one. All right, we're back. Make sure we're back. 
Can everyone see us? Sorry about that. We lost service. Sorry, guys. Somehow the internet just like decided to take a stop. <laughs> Are we here? Are we back good? Can't even see you. Are people still here? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Your dad said um, he sent us a book on plants growing wild that we can eat. Oh, nice. That's pretty awesome. Thanks, Richard. Thanks, That'll Dad. really be a big help. Yeah, the joys of being off grid. I don't even know what happened. Our internet doesn't normally just bounce off like that, but it was just like disconnected. It's kind of weird. So like we didn't have service anywhere else on this mountain, but where we are here, we're up high and the rest of our property is low, but we're, we have like the rec line of sight to a tower off in the distance now since we're up high on a hill and that's how we have service here. Yeah. Other than that, we wouldn't. Yeah, and we actually have a really good service here. On our other property, on the other side of the hill, the tower wasn't within sight, so we had only service in one little spot. And it was crappy. <laughs> it was extremely crappy. <laughs> We're super sorry the live stream dropped, guys. That was kind of crappy. Huh? I said I was just apologizing again for the internet dropping because I was crappy. Yeah, I know. I feel bad. Speaking of satellites in the sky, Pink Panther, the um, we're supposed to be able tonight over our property be able to see the sky Starlink, the Elon Musk Starlink satellite train. internet train going through. So we're excited to be checking out for that. That's coming in like two hours. It's like nine fifty or eight fifty, they say. So I guess another hour. But I've seen pictures of it, and it's like 15 little satellites or whatever that light up in the sky. Yeah, all the sticks, Audrey, that were used are green. So we gave trees haircuts. We didn't cut trees down, per se, but we cut, like, extra limbs off of them, thicker limbs, ones that were... We tried to just give everybody tree cut haircuts so that they would survive. We bulldozed all this property and then we got into our feels about cutting trees down. It's like, what did we do? <laughs> so now we don't want to cut any more trees down. Unless it's absolutely necessary. Yeah. So haircuts it is for trees. Yeah. I, ha I guess we can tell everyone. Um, I've decided, well, for my mother and um, for me as well, it's really hard. I'm going to take the beard down a little bit. He's going down in size. He's downsizing the beard. For anybody who has a beard, kudos. My hat's off to you because beard care is a whole nother process in the day <laughs> that I haven't mastered yet. Yeah. And I don't really have time to. Someone said it looks like we got dog slobber on our legs. <laughs> so I'm going to try and clean that off. <laughs> Hold that thought, everybody. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right. Let's see if that did it. <laughs> There's a good chance it is dog slobber. My dog has a toothache today, and she's just slobbering all over the place. Everything. <laughs> and making funny faces. <laughs> I know. I, I'm not going to look anything like my dog. But <laughs> when she has something in her teeth or something's wrong with her teeth or she has a bad taste in her mouth, she goes and, like, lifts her lip up and, like, shakes her head. It's super funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
I, Audrey said her significant other just did the first beard trim in a year and says he feels much lighter. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'm going to. I'm still going to let the hair go and do something cool with it, but beard still keeping the hair. Go. But we're going to keep a little bit of the beard. We Baxter, we can start planting now. We're ready to start planting. We're going to be planting in a couple of days. We're at least going to plant the first garden bed and then work on filling. We have to get some dirt before we can fill the other two. <gasps> Did you cut yourself? Yeah, hey, I'm all right. Sawing his finger off. <laughs> Your dad said the tr the beard trimmers with the book. <laughs> <laughs> he mailed Sean's parents mailed him trimmers of Kaya's hair. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Moving down. To I'm not gonna trim it, Richard. The other week. Now that it's grown back, I can kind of bring it up because Nagans won't pay attention to it. But the other week, Sean asked me to, like, take a little off right here. Like, and I shaved, like, down really low and, like, made this, like, loop in the side of his face. Anyway, I'm not allowed to come near him with the beard trimmers anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, no problem, Chris. Yeah, we don't. We don't, we want everybody, like, free speech. We're firm believers in everybody having their own opinion. I'm with that. He said he appreciates how we don't delete comments. Oh, yeah. And we do have a good, long growing season. One of the reasons we picked this place is for the growing seasons. I need to have a couple tries in case I mess up. He said it's a set to trim everything. We're not trimming the hair, Richard. We're keeping the hair. The beard is only going shorter. A lot shorter, though. But a lot shorter. A salad bowl and a weed whacker. <laughs> Who said that? Big Panther. Okay, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little too self-conscious about my image for that. <laughs> the salad bowl? The salad bowl. <laughs> the mo. I think my dad cut my brother's hair with one <laughs> when we were younger. <laughs> one tip I do have that I found is, is easier is when you're doing the sticks, when you put the three in. Probably uh, from now on, I'm just going to bang the three in as I go so I can properly place them. Because this one, I think I put a little too far over and it's kind of bending. I'll, I don't know. I might have to redo this. We'll see. Just this one, though. How will you know? It'll just keep pushing out as you stack up. Yeah. If, if I can't get enough uh, back pressure on it, we'll see. We'll see, though. I don't know. I've had a few times where I thought I was going to have to redo it. And I did not. So, He's just zooming right along. <laughs> Your dad said, okay. Your dad said, okay, he'll send the weed whacker if Pink Panther sends the salad bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on Sean tonight, huh? That's okay. <laughs> he can take it. Yeah. Where are you at, Chris? He says he wishes we were his neighbor. <laughs> Where do you be located? We have some pretty great neighbors up here. Yeah. Everybody just does their own thing. And they're there if you need them. I just feel ticks all over me. I'm sorry. I have the heebie-jeebies. We had so many ticks today. And I just feel them everywhere. They are everywhere. <laughs> And they keep getting in my hair. So then I'll do something, pull my ponytail out and fix it. And then the next thing I know, I'll feel them crawling down my face. Yesterday, one almost got in my nose. Oh, you're South Carolina. That's not too far. North Carolina is just right next door. I saw online today somebody 
canoed from Tennessee to North Carolina, which I thought was pretty cool. Mm. Nova Scotia. Mr. Baxter's up in Nova Scotia. Oh, that's cool. Jeez. It's still cold up there? Yeah, you guys probably still have cold weather. When does your growing season start? You're like zone one. <laughs> people from everywhere up in here i think my my luck has run out guys on oh maybe not uh. marigold flowers are great to keep pests away i'm gonna plant some marigolds but they're good I, for rabbits keep rabbits away right i think so i think they're good for quite a few i know they're good medicinally i know they're medicinal <laughs> But I have a wildflower mix, and I know the marigolds are in there, but I want to get individual package of marigold seeds. My grandma always planted marigolds around her vegetable garden. Oh, they can start growing in mid-May up in Nova Scotia, so that's not too bad. No, not at all. Know your flowers there, Mr. Panther, huh? Chrysanthemums are pretty, too. All right, everyone, we're going to have a fingers crossed on this one to see if I can tighten this up. I have faith in him. Glad one of us does. <laughs> see how we can. Get a little bit closer there. Get a little bit. Get a little bit closer. Let's see. Time of truth. This one's not even in. Yeah, I know. <sighs> nope. Boom. That sucks. He has to redo it. Maybe not the whole thing. Let me see here. See my tan line, guys? <laughs> Got a little bit of sun today. Oh, much so. I'm, I haven't burned this burn since I was a kid. No, I remember that one time we went to the beach in Jersey and you burnt your feet. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so this is that problem I was talking about where I put this into, I think, loose. And now these, you see how loose these are? I can't pull it in tight enough. So I'm gonna see. Try one thing before I have to redo this whole little section. Yeah. It's just too far. Are you just the bigger sticks and then gonna try it again? Yeah. Yeah, that worked. Yeah. yeah, that worked. Okay, cool. Very good. Good job. No, not right now. Okay. Thank you, Bill. I forgot with a broken wrist, huh? 
What's the old boy sawing on? He said. Huh? I don't know. I, he asked what the old boy was sawing on. Is there poplar? Poplar. Poplar, I think. Yeah. Green poplar. You have to change it around. So With our best trusty handsaw. <laughs> you have to turn the camera so you can see. Right. Boom. I'll be making fun of my handsaw. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. Last section in the back row. Yeah, then we've done the majority, more than half. That's crazy. Do you, does everyone like these kind of episodes that we do like this with the live? You like watching us work? Yeah. Work and talk at the same time. I was about to say work and work. Yeah, that hand saw is served as well. <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely. I can show you. Um, What's that? She wants to see, like, from the top. Okay, <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm going to attempt to. My camera's connected to a cord, but I'm going to stand up on this bench so you guys can get, like, a better aerial kind of a look. And the best part about these raised garden beds, they're free, minus a little bit of labor. A little bit of labor. Yeah. I mean, if you're just building the garden beds, unless you're going to go. We kind of went a little bit ham on this, honey. Build a 53 foot diameter circle. Yeah, that's how big it is from end to end 53 feet. <sighs> just much for us. <laughs> <laughs> it is. A little bit. Look at the sun setting back there, guys. That looks lovely. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Don't fall. I won't. <sighs> Try and show the other one if you can see over that. Yeah. It's kind of like not probably the best, but. Get an idea. You can kind of see. And then the top ones run like a snake across. There's our two finished ones over there. One looking a lot better than the other. <laughs> I don't know if that was good, Audrey. I, I'll have to get a better shot for you we'll put one in the facebook group oh here's a i wanted to say this since audrey and there's other uh, channel members in here make sure we're going to be posting in the community tab this week it's the members only community tab as well check there there's going to be some updates for members and as well for everybody else just wanted to make that known Ooh, okay Cut myself one more time. <laughs> okay, we got people saying they like the live, love the live. Oh, you would like the planting with us would be fun. Yeah, the top run going the opposite direction. That's what I was trying to show you. It, it gives it like a snake look across the top, but holds it in. It's kind of like a support. Gets too hot where you are for crazy garden beds. We're hoping that's not the case here. No, it isn't. People have raised garden beds here a lot. So. Yeah. Um, off grid rooster, we're using poplar right now. We're using green poplar because we have a plethora of green poplar. But we've tend to notice. <laughs> Say that, that ten times fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we tend to notice that any green wood, like any of the green woods that we've cut down and tried to use, have worked. 
Yeah. I mean, you're supposed Willow's the best one you should use. Um, but we don't have any of that here. Yeah, Willow's the recommended waddle weave. Because it's nice Sick. and straight, too. Did I get that even up the back? Yeah, that's even right here. Okay, so I need one more. One more, and the back row's done. Yeah, if you use dead sticks, they'll just snap. They can't support any weight. Counterweight on them. Right. Now, I need a good... Careful. That's a long one. <laughs> you look at my tan lines on the camera, Sean. <laughs> it's so red compared to up there. Okay. So that works. And how, what's done up north, Chris? He's interested in how it's done up north, but I don't know what he's referring to. Okay. Ah, crazy bug on my leg. I want to get some of you looking at the sunset behind me. Okay. Pretty. I think this one's done. Yeah. I'm going to have trouble going up this way. Oh, yeah, because of all the stuff there. All right. Just come back up and do the front. Can, okay. Can you can do, do that? that? Yep. All right. We're going to switch angles, everybody. Oh, they'll be able to see how green everything is behind us. Yep. Look how green it's getting out there. Uh, it's nice to see the leaves coming back in. That's the one thing about Tennessee. When it's winter, it looks dead. It definitely looks dead here. Okay. All right. What I'm really excited about is getting all these channels done filled with stone and the pathways in between the garden beds with the grass. Planted to yeah. really <laughs> add some color. Really makes it'll really make the the pattern the whole pattern stand out. out more. Yeah, for sure. I wore these shorts specifically to get that red today, Audrey. <laughs> Turn the camera this way. Sorry, guys, got my face up in here for you. If you see any ticks on me, let me know. I'd say we got enough sticks to finish this whole bed. Yeah? Yeah. And like have some extra, you think? Nope. No? Just enough? Just enough, I think. We'll find out then. I could be wrong. I saw off the name. There's a big knot there on that one, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we got some good drone footage today. We're gonna hope oh, we're gonna we ch I mean it still looks a little like you can't see it too too good from the drones, but when we wet these channels 
it really makes it pop. So we're going to do a little bit more of that this week. Yeah. So we can get some good, good drone footage. We want to get the rest of the stone, too, to put in. Fill these all so it really, really pops. But I still got to dig them out a little bit further. Actually, a couple of weeks ago, remember I said I hurt my back. I, I was bent over for you know, 12 hours one day with, like, a really heavy pickaxe, just like. <laughs> like Slowly that. shoveling it out. And I didn't stretch, and I had to take a rest from that for a little while before I hurt myself. It probably would be easier to leave like a side open to put our wheelbarrow in here to fill it with dirt. We can we can do that. Do you think? Yeah, we can do that this time. Someone mentioned that the last time, too. Yeah, I think we thought about it. <laughs> yeah, we still have this whole side we can do. But now we're down a wheelbarrow. <laughs> this is true. Thanks, Daz. Daz is loving it. Daz approves. Da oh, we got the Daz approves stamp? Mm -hmm. Awesome. If anybody here hasn't seen Daz's channel, check him out. It's my all Sea Garden and Kitchen. He's got a great, you know, gardening and cooking channel. And, and he's he a dear friend of ours. Good home cook stuff. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Like the lemon chicken. Remember when he made the lemon chicken? That's my favorite so far, Dad's the lemon chicken. <laughs> this knot is really annoying me. Yeah, it's in a weird spot. If you can you turn the stick? I can get it around it. I just gotta keep remembering every time that it's there. Which oh, why do you say that is chris why do you say you, is what's what is the heat have to do with having the beds above ground yeah i was curious about that what why can't you in hotter weather i didn't know that yeah <laughs> We had company yesterday, and Alan made some famous baked beans again. I love the baked beans. But not. We have someone special coming this week. We we do. We can probably tell these guys early, yeah, right? We can tell them. This week, we have a forest tree. No, she's a the forest interpreter for the state of North Carolina. She basically lives in the woods and is knows everything there is to know about trees, nature, and she also happens to be Alan's sister. And she is going to be coming up for a visit and teaching us about all the trees that we got. Yeah, so we can stop <laughs> guessing where to look for mushrooms. Yep. And then we know what we have here. We're really excited to have her for the day. We hope she packs us all full of knowledge. <laughs> But we will record. Hopefully you get to meet her. Yeah, you guys will have to stay tuned. It'll probably be next week's episode. Yeah. yeah. Next Sunday's episode, you guys will be able to catch up with her and what she taught us while she was here. But she apparently lives, eats, and breathes this. So this is should be good information. She for was. Her. She's like, I'm going to come, pitch a tent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she seems sweet. <laughs> I was kind of bummed we didn't find any morels this year yet. Yeah, we didn't find any morels. That was unsuccessful. But she'll be able to teach us a lot, I'm sure. Yeah, it's she's going to... I'm going to be hanging on to every word she says. I know that much. Are you? <laughs> yeah. I'm a plant lover. Plant mom. Plant mom. You no, know, I'm not the best plant mom, but I love them all. <laughs> okay. You working too hard? No. Jesus, stop. I didn't do anything. I'm fine. <laughs> I can't even watch him work. He's so accident prone. You need another stick. I'll bring you some sticks. I got some here. Yeah. Uh, he's because the soil gets too hot and dries out in a day, he says. That's what I figured it was going to be. 
I hope that doesn't happen here. I don't think it will. Our garden beds are pretty big. We're going to have to, uh, we were told about trying to do a wicking system. We don't have the things to do that or even attempt that yet. That might be something we do in the future. But for now, we're just going to be adding a lot more raised water or rainwater collection uh, systems off of the fifth wheel back there. We have enough room for two more, 330 gallon tote ones. So that should help. Yeah. And hopefully we'll pray for enough rain that I'm not having to carry it up from the street creek because that would suck. Oh man, could you imagine having to carry it up from the creek? Yeah. I can't imagine it. I don't want to. What's That's... the verdict, guys? Crick or creek? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cricker. I say crick. Do some sticks. All right. I'm done playing with this thing. Why not? That works. Your dad says, where are your gloves? Well, Richard, let me tell you, <laughs> as much as I try to keep track of those things for him, we could go look right now and find 800 left-handed gloves, but we'll never find a right-handed one. <laughs> he somehow loses every right-handed glove. <laughs> I think they're stolen from me. <laughs> they're definitely not. Longy Creek. Creek. It's just one of them words. Ooh. Probably wrap it up after this one. Sure. Let these people, sure, people get are back bored. to their lives. I know. I'm sure they're bored <laughs> watching these. <laughs> no, I don't think it's boring. It's just like hanging out with your friends while yeah, you're outside. Is. Don't worry, everyone, too. Soon, hopefully, in a couple years, we'll have this place that'll be ready for hosting people yeah that'll be super great that's what we that's the plan are you even watching him richard he's just staring at the camera like hopefully next year no sawing away <laughs> your dad said that's okay you're only cutting your left hand it's my only good hand what do you mean <laughs> my right hand's broken <laughs> the crick it's pretty far down there it's like how far would you say it is from here Oh, two, three hundred feet downhill? Yeah, it's pretty far. And I mean down a hill. And it's a really, like, it's a, it's a pretty steep. We have a path down there, but once you get to the bottom, I mean, it, we're going to do some work to make it easier accessible, but I still don't want to have to carry water from down there. Yeah, they asked about if it was possible to put one of those ramp pumps in. Those, I, I believe they only go 75 feet uphill, though, right? Yeah, I don't think we we might have to put a couple of them on a thing to pump. I don't know the if that works like that. I have no idea. I just mm. know ramp pumps. I'm not sure. Yeah. And then we'd have to power it. Power's hard to come by. Don't saw your pants. We're back. I gotta hammer the head. Yeah, we have a we have a really nice like stream at the bottom of our hill. It's really nice and it goes the whole way across the, the bottom half of our property. And actually the beavers backed up the one back side of it. So that they've have like a whole pond down there too. So we have a really deep pond that we could probably canoe through and kayak through, like because the beavers have built it up so much and then we have a beautiful stream. It's really nice. It's one of my favorite parts of the property. But as the summer comes and as the woods get fuller and fuller and walking through the spider webs and walking through everything to get down through there becomes tougher. So we enjoy it a lot in the spring. And right before spring started, we were down there a lot. <laughs> Thanks, Daz. It really is pretty down there. If you could build a head water to provide pressure for the elevation. 
how high is the elevation to the stream? We're the highest. We're way higher than the stream. That we're. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's three hundred foot down, down that way. Yeah. What's he saying? He's asking an elevation. Like, what's the elevation change from here to there? What do you think the difference? I'm not sure. Yeah. It's pretty. It, I mean, it goes it's, at a slant like this. If and we, then if it goes we were to like drill this. straight down, <laughs> I don't even know. Honestly, yeah. I don't even want to guess. If I told you, it would just be a guess. Yeah, it would be. I, I And my guess would be like 80 foot. No, mine would be like 200 and something. 200? So yeah, I mean, not more. So there you go. That's our guesses. <laughs> Far. Right. Push. Ooh. All right. But <sighs> guys, he's doing a great job. <clears throat> Nice and tight. Boom. Just how you like it, huh, babe? Look how nice it looks, guys. He did all this while he's on the I'm not on the phone with you guys. <laughs> on the live stream. Look, looks great. Thank you. You can't get this wall done over here because I have everything here. Yeah, the camera set up and all. But <laughs> I got more than or three quarters of this raised garden bed done on this live stream, which impressed me because that one took me six hours the last time I did it. In the last live stream, we couldn't even build a whole trellis. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> in an hour. <laughs> yeah. We're getting better. And as you watch our channel and everything, we're, we're learning. So anyone who's new here, we have no experience doing any of this. We're just kind of figuring it out as we go and learning from YouTube and things we read and people's comments and advice. So... We definitely is, appreciate that. Yeah, but this is kind of like a testament that we're getting better, quicker, and more experienced at this whole off gridding thing. I'm Here's loving it. Yoda Goat. Howdy. What's the name? Yoda Goat. Yoda Goat. <laughs> what up? Yoda Goat. Okay. Everybody really likes it. Thank you. I appreciate that. We were kind of like, we weren't sure 100% if this was going to work for all of these because we were kind of like iffy about what material to build these with i'm kind of happy we did this way yeah i'm really happy that we did this way too i like not having to use nails i like not having to do super measuring i like that it's all natural yeah <sighs> i like the idea of building things that if you had to abandon it it would just turn back to earth yeah exactly or stand here a thousand years from now so they can say aliens built this <laughs> <laughs> yep Remember that when your, your grandkids be checking us all out 10, 50 years from now, this property on the YouTube. Aliens. You said the YouTube. The YouTube. On the YouTube. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> all right. Well, I think at this point, we're going to end it unless anybody has any questions for us or anything. Yeah. Any last questions or anything before we? If we're losing sun anyway, and we do got to clean up. Everybody likes watching us on the live. Awesome. Are Robert's here. There's Robert here from Kentucky. Kiwi, Kiwi, Kentucky. Hi, Robert. Thanks hey, for Joe coming. Robert. Thanks for joining us. But yeah, uh, everybody who's donated tonight, thank you so much. It's very much appreciated. It helps out so much. It definitely does. Thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, we will have a regular episode for everybody next Sunday with a lot of a lot done and some pretty cool people that uh, are going to be here. Yeah. yeah it's going to be a good episode. Well, yeah, it's going to be a really good episode. Yeah. So, all right, everybody. All right. We love y'all. We love Talk you guys. You. Thanks, we'll see everybody. You next Sunday.